I couldn't afford anything, so we had a um, my drawer for my clothes. My drawer was my table, so I'll take it like off the wall, put it in the middle, and I grab my ugly-ass blanket and lie it across to the top. And I had to hustle my auntie to buy me um, my first tattoo kit, which I saved up hundred and twenty dollars for my from all my uh, chores to buy this tattoo kit. And my auntie was the only one with a Visa card to buy offline. <laughs> I started my Tamako journey in 2000 and 2013. I got into Tamako because actually I used to see the posters all over the place and I was on them, that's why. How has the journey gone there to now be my crew? Um, it's had its ups and downs. Um, sometimes it was all the way up here. Like the beginning days were all the way down there because I wasn't creating very good money. Yeah. It's a good place now though. Yeah. Got part time money. Mm-hmm. And it's beautiful, funny. Right. So, what is your main mahi? My mahi now is a teacher, tutor at Te Wānanga Aotearoa, um, teaching toy Māori, Māori visual arts. When you have a customer, mm. and then how do you go by designing their specific design? Oh, there's steps to how I how I run my money. First, um, you come in usually with a kōrero, um, otherwise even prior to coming to your booking, you would have that conversation and that kōrero about what you want your mahi to be about. Um, so a kaupapa, you send photo references, so I have an idea of what kind of, what you want, but then I go and change it to my style of mahi. And then I just start drawing from the atua. Yeah. What is the culture significance of um, It's just our identity. And it comes from our um, ancestors and even further, even to our gods, our Māori gods. Um, the god of Moho is Ruai Moho, which is the god of earthquakes, and he lives under the Fenua. And Moho actually comes from when Ruai Moho would have his tantrums and it cracks the earth. So those cracks of the earth are high, high lines. Are then put on to high height the key carving into this great What are your aspirations and dreams for this practice? Um, I just I think Mukul's at a good place right now. I think Mukul is massive right now. Everybody's doing it, everybody's into it, um, everybody's getting their faces done to now. And it's actually beautiful to see from knowing that when I first started, it was never ever seen, especially on faces. It was like almost gone. Mm-hmm. So, aspirations is just for it to keep growing, keep going. Yeah. Do so you have any words of wisdom you would like to share? Maybe for those who um, don't believe in, they don't believe that they can make their dreams a reality. Have, oh, like, it's old drug. Go through it. Who cares about anyone that puts you down? Because I've been through all of that. Been through all the um, judgments and hate because I'm a wahine and I do mokoe 
and that's not really appropriate, or that's not a woman's job to talk cups. So drunk. Yeah. I think that's right.